Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will show you how to make a very simple ghost using a coffee creamer bottle or also known as Oogie Boogie with a little bit more details as you will see in the instructions to follow. As you can see in the introduction of this video, there is another bottle that I use but I found this bottle to be very easy to use and also mimic the shape of a ghost. You will first start by removing the label. You can then use the template provided in the description of this video and choose the face that you would like to have on your particular bottle. The intent of this design was to give you options as to how you want to position the face, whether you want to use it as a template or you want to stick the paper directly to the bottle like I did here. For this next step, which is completely optional, I'm showing you with a dry erase pen the areas and locations where you need to cut. This helps you give the ghost a three-dimensional look. But if you're doing this with kids, you can just skip this step. This bottle in particular is made out of soft plastic, so it's very easy to cut with an X-Acto knife. I wanted to give a little bit more detail to the ghost itself, similar to Oogie Boogie, so I made it look like it was ripping from the sides. In the description, I'll leave a link to where you can get these same type of puck lights that are remote controlled, which are really fun, especially with kids. And if you're okay with the design so far, you can basically stop here or continue on to make it a little bit more cooler. Since the goal was to make this as close as possible to Oogie Boogie, I decided to add some glow in the dark paint, which I mixed with clear glue, since the glue allows for the paint to go on thinner and in return, lets the light penetrate through the bottle easier. A 1 to 1 ratio is okay for this project. If you want it to be darker, just use less glue. Light, thin coats are recommended for this project. Try not to use too much because there's a chance that it will run. Using a cap is completely optional, as the bottle allows for the ghost to be with or without the cap and will still look pretty cool. As you can see here, it already has the shape of Oogie Boogie, but if you want to add a little bit more details, continue on. As with my other upcycled projects using bottles, I've used a lot of temporary tattoos which are very easy and it's kind of a cheat code to being able to decorate stuff in a cost effective way and fast. I hope you enjoyed making this as much as I did. Feel free to leave a like, comment, or even share with your friends and family. And if you like what you saw, consider subscribing to my channel since I will have a lot more Halloween themed upcycled projects coming up.